Hey folks! So, to set violin, if you don't know who they are, I'll put a link in the description. They have recently done a video where they matched classical music to famous pieces of art. And they have degrees in music and they're dabbling in art. I have a degree in art and I dabble in music. So let's see how those two ends of the spectrum come together or mismatch completely. So I'm gonna do a reaction video to the video they did. This is the first time I'm doing something like this, so let's see what happens. Hello, welcome to another distinguished and interesting episode of Two Set Violin. Today we will be combining two of the most historical and sophisticated art forms. I'm not dressed anywhere as sophisticated enough for this, so I'll be right back. A few moments later. Yeah, this is better. Classical music with visual arts. So basically we've gathered a series of famous artworks. Yeah. And for each one, we are going to pair it up with a choice of classical music that we think pairs very well with this artwork. For those of you high IQ, intellectual artistic, people. cultured intellectuals, you'll be able to enjoy both these masterpieces of art while listening to a masterpiece of art. Dude, it's like masterpiece plus masterpiece. This is our masterpiece. masterpiece. <laughs> Before we get started, make sure to ding the subscribe button and ding, ding the accent button. Check out their channel. They are incredibly talented musicians and they are also very entertaining. The first artwork we have is the famous Lisa Mona by Fadinci. I can see how that would trigger some people. <laughs> it's Mona Lisa! I can imagine people that don't understand that they take it seriously. <laughs> Lisa Mona and Fidenci. Oh my god, they got it wrong. Apparently the actual piece of art is very small in the museum. We've seen it. No, I've, oh, not, I've seen, seen it. it. Alright, does it follow you? Apparently the eyes follow yeah, you. Yeah, they follow you, but it's, it's kind of underwhelming. It is kind of underwhelming. As a tourist attraction, it's relatively small, and uh, but it's this enormous room with it in one single wall with this enormously thick bulletproof glass in front of it. and. You do get a little bit underwhelmed by it, but it's a still magnificent piece of art. It's worth checking it out in person if you're ever in the Louvre in Paris. Well, okay, actually first I want some historical context. 1503. Dude, that's 500, that's... That's over 500 years ago. Oh, moly. Mind blown. Mr. Vinci, yeah, he's Italian. All right, mm. I got one. No. Nah, 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 nah. You getting any ideas? No. <laughs> nah, this sounds, sounds like, like... Sounds like a feudal age. <laughs> <laughs> I agree with them. It's got more of that female yeah. Mona Lisa. Her face kind of suits it. Like, you'll listen to it. When I play it, she smiles. <laughs> Dude, that's creepy as... <laughs> No, actually, I disagree with them in this one. The Mona Lisa, it's, uh, in, in my opinion, it's not a very quiet, it's not actually a quiet, serene painting. There's a lot going on in that painting. Uh, never mind the smile, everybody talks to death about the smile. Look at everything else that is going on, especially the background. Look at that background. There's all these mountains, this desola desolation, there's this winding road these jagged peaks and what is this in the very background it's like a glacier or something where is she <laughs> i think the mona lisa is a much more dramatic piece than people give it credit for this is my choice for the mona lisa <laughs> doesn't just enter the room she kicks the door off the hinges so let's get going next one next starry night by van Gogh. van gogh van gogh get yeah, van gogh i actually asked a dutch friend how you pronounce this and here's what he told me van gogh vincent van gogh gogh 
just call him Vincent. Everybody can agree on that, right? Oh, okay. I now, like now, okay, here we go. In my mind, I'm already thinking either impressionistic, because mm. he's French. Actually, I want to say impressionistic, because impressionism is not so surreal. Like, I'm sorry if I'm not using official art adjectives. Dude, I just, I like your artwork. Yeah, it's really nice. The more I look at it, the more I like it. It's just all those lines, whatever, I think, whatever the technique is. How much do you think it is worth? Probably 200 million. 100 million dollar! Dude, that's 10 strats for painting. You can't even play on the painting. You can't I guess you get, you get the look. I guess it. you get look. It is interesting that paintings tend to have much higher value than, say, violins, and a painting just sits on your wall. A violin is a, is a workhorse, it's a work tool. You take it to concert every night, you sweat on it, you play it constantly, you're constantly handling a painting just sits there. They're worth hundreds of millions of dollars. I think the most expensive strat was what, 45 million or something? They're between 16 and 45 million, so... Got it, every day you walk into your room, like... Starry, starry night... I actually like that tune. <laughs> uh, I reckon... Mm, Alright, let's see, Van Gogh... I like the Debussy Violin Sonata. Debussy Violin Sonata. Mm, no, I don't think that one. Gotta be slow. Yeah. It needs to be something like more shimmery. I'm actually more impressed at the violin. I, I kinda like that one. Yeah, it's so in tune. Yeah. <laughs> it's so in tune. I liked it though. It worked. I think it's better than the Debussy. Let me see. But something still feels missing. So missing something, right? Um no, I, oh, I like the violin from Cherto better. That one is... Yeah, I think so. That suits really well. well. So I think it? this is... Guess Gaspar de la Nuit. Yeah, that one's good. I like the violin from Cherto better. Next, Next one. one. Let's talk way too long. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the screen. I, I just heard that. Ring, 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 ring. Oh, the that, that film music, the cycle. Yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. Nah, that's it. That's I it. Agree. I, I think so. I think so. I think so. <laughs> yep. Next, the Last Supper. I'm feeling Bach. Okay. Definitely Bach. Just because. Bach was very religious. I go with the Bohemian C.H. Bach. Many people say Bach. Whichever is best for you. Oh yeah. 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 Dude, yeah. Oh, that's epic. Oh, that's, yeah. Mm. I, I the lights in the yeah. back. This discussion going on, the last supper. Oh, I'm gonna this one, so okay. Yeah, that's good. We agree on that one. Yeah. Yeah. Next, girl with a pearl earring. Girl with flax in here. <laughs> I thought that. Yeah. But I actually don't think it would work. No, because the background's black. Yeah. That's why it won't work. That, that, that's an interesting concept. The black the background is black, so it doesn't work, I guess. Well, the flax is too outdoor tree. Yeah, and the flowers and the... Yeah. Like a painting of grass and blue sky. The Debussy Reverie. Let's try yeah, this. I could go with the reverie. Yep, oh. definitely. That works. I like this one. What do you reckon? Next, 
This one's not a painting. It's a sculpture. The thinker. The thinking sound like for me. So what music is now? Just silence. John Cage. John Cage, four minutes thirty-three. Yeah. <laughs> no. That that is quite me. brilliant. A fugue. I think yeah, a fugue, a fugue. The most no. cerebral yeah, type yeah, of yeah, thing yeah, you can fugue. yeah, of course. Yeah, I think a fugue because multiple things. Yeah. Let's try. It sounds like an anime. Conan is like. <laughs> yeah, that one. <laughs> that hits. Number five. Oh, that. Whoa. That one. I actually think the silence would be the best choice for that new for that painting. What's that mono music? It's, just... no, it's not a dial-up. I don't mode. know. What that is. A dial-up mode and sound, but can you call that music? Has I, I bet somebody has made music out of the dial-up sounds. <laughs> American? What's an American composer? This is hard, this one's hard. This one just sounds like... Is there any piece of music where it's just... So rude. Every Brand instrument hit. just starts playing George randomly. Crumb. You know what it is? It needs um, wind instruments as well. I think it needs all timbres. Dude, I'm out of ideas. Yeah, I'm trying to think. This has to be it. Come on, Bartok, pull through. I think this is my closest so far. I mean, it's, I think it's, it's just yeah. like the kind of There's infinite swirling. strands. Like, which line are you following? Yeah, it just needs a bit more intensity somewhere. Do let us know in the comments what you think. Actually, this one, I think it's exactly the opposite of what they're going for. They're trying to go for a very busy, uh, noisy piece of music. I think that one would go really well with the silence. It's just silence, just the picture and silence. I personally think that's a much better match. It's the juxtaposition of uh, the very noisy artwork with silence. Moving on. Oh. 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 This is the Venus, right? She's Venus. Now there is a. I think wow. it's a PG thirteen oh. channel. Oh, oh. They cannot show artistic nudity. I'm going to show the whole artistic nudity. I feel like it works, but not in the original intention. It's like a reinterpretation of the... Yeah, the Barnasaur seemed no. to me like that woman in the middle. Yeah. No, I don't think it works. That one. The flower do it? It's so different. I kind of like it. I feel like there's all those people there. Yep. Well. Yeah. I'll go with the flower do it. I like it. Yeah, done. I like it. Flower duet. Nice one. Mwah. Time. The make me messed up. <laughs> this has got to be post 20th century. Yeah. I like it. I like it. I actually like it. Surprisingly. The harmonies the are like, are like I almost wiggled. That's why the clock is like, whoa. This is actually called Quartet for the End of Time. Oh! Yeah. I could see that on that solid yeah. the weekend. Next, oh, the creation of Adam. What I think, oh. Karina Burana. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> you thought that as well? It's a bit intense though. It's a bit too intense actually. With the little angels. But it's pretty epic. It's like freaking god. Yeah. It's probably the closest. Yeah, I'll, I'll go with Carmen Aburana for a Copyright. Oh, this one's easy. Debussy La Mer. Mm -hmm. Let me find the exact spot. They really like La Mer. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah nah, it is. Yeah, the wolf. It's just waves. And... That's so yeah. good. Oh, that's another one I disagree entirely with them. Actually, I think this has to be a lot more dramatic. That wave is not just a little ocean ebb and flow i think the ride of the valkyries is a much better one for that one Last one. Oh, what's this one? This oh. is a super famous painting. Oh, um, super famous. Oh, it looks so trippy. Do you think this will work? Yes, I, I would go with the vocalese. Oh, nice. I feel like the picture is too colorful. No, the the vocalese works for it. The vocalese was composed in what, nineteen twelve ish. The painting is from nineteen oh seven, nineteen oh eight. It's the tail end, the very end of the Art Nouveau period, and they're still both in that style, and I think they go together really well. What is the synopsis behind this, the kiss? Romantic intimacy. German. Brahms, Schumann, Beethoven. What do you guys think? Nah, <laughs> I think that's the closest I think. Yeah, of. I think so. All right, we'll go with that one. But I think there's definitely room for exploring for that one. Let us know what you guys think and if you enjoyed this very high cultured video. Please accent the like button and subscribe. And see you guys next time. So if you don't know who to set violin are, they are those two guys and they are extremely talented and they are also very funny. So check out their channel and give them a thumbs up and give us a thumbs up too. We'd like thumbs up. Subscribe. <laughs> Do you have a different idea for what music would go well with those pieces of art? Let us know in the comments. And I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.